good afternoon. Well, uh, now we we want to present here the first uh, results of uh, a data analysis about this uh, issue, that is uh, the reconstruction or the, the possibility of reconstruction later in Roman wine you, uh, economy using a uh, agent-based model uh, between the the first century BC and the third century AD. Uh, this is a project that is developing uh, inside the EBNET Economic and Political Network project, an ERC, European ERC project. Okay, uh, first we make uh, a situation uh, about the context uh, of the of the different uh, different issues uh, related with the Latin and Roman wine. This is the territorial scope uh, with the modern uh, shares of this of the administrative. The area in red is the, the territorial scope we want to, to study. Then here we are, the, the Regio Laetania with the Latin toponymical items and main roads in uh, Roman times. Uh, structure uh, in the, between the cities of the colony of Barcino, the Roman municip municipia, municipium of Vetulo, Iluro, and blend on the coast and secondary settlements inside in the inland of the uh, Latin region. Uh, the preliminary considerations and methodological issues uh, we have to, to take in care, uh, to take uh, in account is the uh, we think that uh, it it it's a matter of intensive viticulture that supports a huge socioeconomic impact in the in the region. Um, the regional variability uh, supposes uh, changes in rural and urban settlement patterns. Uh, geospatial analysis, uh, we are making this geospatial, a huge geospatial analysis in different territorial scales, macrospatial uh, in regio, uh, mesospatial in the territory of the, of the cities and the secondary settlements, and microspatial uh, refers to the, to the sites, to archaeological sites, Circularia and uh, Figlina. And the demographic analysis is the other issue, very important for the, to try to, to understand the, uh, the dependency of the population level uh, and the dependency in the supply chain of the, produ of the production of uh, uh, Roman wine. Um, all these, these studies we make in the three scholars also. Uh, but uh, in this in this presentation, we are focused in, in the geoeconomic studies, in the economic and econometric models, about the interregional and extraregional relationships in different uh, spatial uh, sources. Okay, the wine growing system dynamics. Uh, we think that is in an evolution that it uh, starts with the bisectoral Roman villa system that supposes perhaps a uh, self-consumption and autarchical uh, system for maintenance the, the territory and the, the property. And then this evolves to a uh, wine growing intensification and specialization process in this, in this uh, chronologies. And then this uh, evolves uh, again in a, in a specialization pro, uh, pro, uh, process with a resilience uh, due to the competence of the other productors in the West, in the Western Roman Empire. Um, finally, the last, the last, uh, the last period is the wine growing decline and abandonment that is upside uh, in in the final chronological period we are studying. Uh, operational objective, uh, this, this is the, the operational objective, uh, to make an inventory in catalog of wine growing pottery and archaeological data set, to try to identify possible geospatial models, settlement patterns, land use, tenure, etc. Uh, characterize types of agrarian settlement and productive structures, uh, to try to identify economic dynamics and timeline evolution. Establish conceptual geoeconomic models, Develop to try to develop predictive, regressive, and reconstructive model of viticultural, rotary, and crafting activities. Develop microeconomic studies in uh, about when your crops, when making yields, and for uh, productivity. 
to try to establish uh, econometric parameters of cost, prices, benefits, etc. But uh, this presentation is focused in the last point, that is the uh, developed ABM, ABM as model comparative timeline analysis in three uh, levels: apolygenia in the in the cent production centers, in transito, uh, referring to the trade, and at the stinon in construction. We make a, a little bit uh, comparison between these uh, issues. And this is for to confirm or reverse our working and operative hypothesis. Uh, our working hypothesis is based in the, uh, the, the studies of the last decades uh, about uh, amphoric uh, presence in, in Latin region and the exportation overseas. No? Uh, this is the different forms that uh, habitually are in the, in the region, and this is the main four, four forms of amphors that are uh, make it in, in this region, and the last two one are the most who are exported overseas. And this work in the positive is based in different phases uh, about the, the production and the distribution of Roman wine amphoras. Uh, the first facet is in section that is uh, characterized by the imitation of Italic wine amphoras, Greco Italic and Russell 1, 1A and 1B, 1C criterion. Uh, the faster two, we, we name it uh, like, like Grout because it is the, the first and for a local forms period, uh, sported basically to Gallia, Germania, and Britannia Limbs markets, is the Tarraconense Italian uh, one and the Pasqual one. The, fa the first three is the rate orientation, it is the sec as we name it, uh, second and for a period uh, with Dahlia in bulk that is exported mainly to Italian markets and especially to the city of Rome itself. No? It is about uh, and for a forms there is a two, two, three triarconense and the Dahlia in, tar in tanker ships. The fast four is the peak uh, about the low production of amphorae. It declines very, very, very fast. And the big containers. And, and we, we think that is due to the, the re reorientation of the, of the packing of the, the wine in cupai, wooden barrels for supply traps and like ma large markets, and coule wine sky for supply local or regional markets. Uh, the last phase is the decline, uh, it's a sudden fall of late and wine production, and it implies to return to local and regional self consumption. We can see here the uh, different, uh, different pictures about the different processes I, I speak, I speak uh, before. And this yeah, about the investment in wine making pottery and facilities. We can see here a reconstruction of Verol de Valmora in Tejam, Marism, Barcelona, uh, about the facilities to wine making. We can see here the Calabinaria ecological part Torcularia from the second century in situ recitation about the uh, studies making, making uh, before. Uh, the Roman bill of the Pont de Trae Digna in La Sagrera, here in the plain of Barcelona, uh, the, the recitation of the first phase in the phase of the intensification. And then this is the, the phase of the specialization. It, uh, it's a, a huge investment to facilities for wine making that we are detected in this area. Uh, the other, the other side, uh, the other, the other investment is about the way making pottery facilities for making the, the amphoras. And then we can see here an example about the frame kills uh, near Baetulo, Badalona, in the uh, Fredera. Uh, here we are, the, the process of the excavation of this, this archaeological site. And then uh, we make here the Roman settlements we have to take to make our first uh, analysis of data to, to make the, a future uh, agent based model development. No? Uh, we are concentrated in the central area of this, of this uh, red circle. Uh, this is about uh, the winemaking <coughs> production centers. Uh, concentrated in the in the center of area of our Italian region, and this is the concentration of kilts and uh, figlina in this. Uh, you can see here uh, 87 wine grabbing settlements, uh, 48 real presses documented, and uh, 171 presses estimated. 
Here you are total subject uh, 45 photo workshops, 49 real kinds documented, and 68 kilns estimated. This is important. This is the different types of, uh, of settlements we have identified identify in this territory. A small establishment, uh, about uh, four, four, 400 and 500 meters, uh, square meters, uh, with this, this, this issue, simple special organization, one calcatoria, one wine press, five to ten dollar integrated into medium sized villa on Urbas Domun, etc. The medium stimulus with this these uh, issues and uh, and one and one thousand and one thousand two hundred meters. And the biggest establishment with this these this, uh, sizes and this basically uh, is just uh, in inside there. Well, we have uh, distinguished uh, four study areas. We are here. The first study area is the Barcelona hinterland and plain the area Barcelonensis that we have at Centuretio, a Centuriato uh, that uh, makes easy the calculation of these uh, future uh, of the future gels and uh, other other factors. Then the second study area, the Laboratorio Llobrega, Rubricat and Estuary. You can see here is near the the Llobregat River, and the central coast uh, with this uh, huge uh, population uh, population uh, uh, settlements, and uh, inland the uh, Bajasin Plain with the territory of Arona, Algarve, and Aquaria Well, and uh, the basics uh, about the the agent based modeling study, the basic statistic and probably the signing is is uh, the part that uh, Itha Romanowska and, uh, and the Australian Supercomputing Center have uh, developed. Uh, we try to, to answer two, two main questions. No? Are we growing and pottery productive dynamics good proxies for establishing an evolutive comparative agent-based model timeline study? And then we make the other question that is, is agent-based model a good tool to, for confirming or forcing or working on operative hypotheses? This is the, uh, the questions, and this is the process, no? We can see the basic, uh, we make three analytical perspectives, production, some product dynamics at origin in the production centers, trade, ship rates database in transit, uh, about the, the ship rates uh, making uh, in the, in the study of, uh, uh, making it about this, uh, um, the consumption of foreign sources at the Stinon. And then uh, we have some, some questions and some reference about the producers use available lands to grow grapes, bending strategies, uh, sell locally for a, surpl a sur surplus cash, buy more land to increase productivity, invest in facilities to increase rentability, and then the influence of different catastrophic events that rocks, diseases, prices fluctuations, competition outside, uh, and the competitive uh, wine from Gallia and from Africa. This is the, the agent-based modeling study about the, the cumulative probabilities uh, in wine press A. Uh, it is a accumulation of the probabilities, if, if not, is a, correct me, <laughs> uh, in one year and, and, and different year, uh, pro the probability that wine press uh, a uh, existed in any one year, and then uh, wine press that in different sequence during the the timeline. The cumulative pr uh, probability uh, is to compare the different uh, presence or not presence the presence in the A or B. Okay. Uh, this is for for remain the, the the concentration of the region. And this is the, the analysis of the data. We, we can see here the different, uh, the different issues that we make about the archaeological sites, the situation, the number of the presses documented in each uh, site, and the estimated presses in them, and then the chronology for make the timeline. Uh, we are have uh, wine production center, uh, total subjects 87 wine growing segments, total real presses 49, and total estimated presses uh, 172. This is the, the, um, the picture about the analysis of the presses or not presses the, uh, of presses in during the timeline. You, you can see here the evolution 
over the time uh, between the <coughs> the 1st century BC to the 4th century AD. And you can see here in different study areas I speak uh, before. Then the same for the kilns, uh, about uh, 45 pottery workshops. Uh, the total real high kilns are uh, 49, and the total estimated queen is 6018. Um, the same uh, about the, the graphics uh, in the evolution. We can see here the sudden, the sudden uh, low, low of the production of amphoric about the, 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 at the end of the first, first century AD. And you can see here. And then the comparative between uh, the, the presses and the cards. You can see here the production of one making it's continued, and the production of Amforth disease. Okay, here is the analytical about the difference, the difference uh, evolution of origins. You can see here, and this is the comparative with a study of Parker in 1992. You can see here the comparison that the graphics is similar and the peaks are similar. You can see here about the comparative timeline production and trade evolution here. In Parker, when you scale all the study, and you can you can see that the line and the comp uh, and the behavior of the of the of the line is the same. The same for at the Stinon, the peaks in Ostia about the Hispanic Hispanic amphorae, and then these conclusions only only one minute, please. Yeah. Uh, is that changes in rural and urban settlements patterns reflected in change in agrarian exploitation systems? Is possible? It seems it's possible to reconstruct viticulture productive units as types and its production capacity in absolute terms, and it's possible to reconstruct the rural omnis interests, strategies, and behaviors in different categories. Uh, we can analyze the scope of an Italian royal Italian wine economy in its specific timeline evolution over the time. The balance between interregional and extra-regional wine production and trade consumption is a given in a given area is a good a good way to explore this issue. It's possible to establish a general agent based model, we think, a study that allows us for a further economical research in wine production and trend uses. It could be possible to apply in then this model, we think, in other territories. Thank you very much.